Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stocks with Show Market Review. I don't even know what I could possibly say here today different than what I've been saying, which is that the market is strong. Uh, it is February 12th. I did say that February would be an incredibly strong month. I said that the last week of January. I said it would be a very bullish month, and it is going to be. It is already, and it's even going to be more so, and it is, and it's going to continue. I did an email at the end of December 2014, which I think I'm, I might resend out today or tomorrow for everyone that's on my email list. And I told everyone what the market was going to do this year, this calendar year, and it is going to do it. Okay. Now, the previous high right here was 106.25. Whether the market gets through that today in the next hour and a half, which is a long way away or not, it doesn't matter. This market, even if it retests the high, will break over it. Whether it does it on the day it touches on the number or again after it, it doesn't matter. This is nothing but utter strength in the market. And every day the market was red in the last three months, I said the market wasn't doing anything bearish or anything wrong, and boy, was I right. You have to learn how to read gas in order to how to read price right. And I think what confuses people is that sometimes... Well, it's not just this, but it was two things. One, sometimes people will see a bearish gap, and there were bearish gaps in the market. This was one. Uh, here. Okay. Actually, this was one here. But anyways, there, there, are, there were bearish gaps that happened in the QQQs, and then people think then all of a sudden that it's changed, that the trend has changed, but that's not correct. And also, people saw all these pivots going on here in the market. The lower highs and lower lows, and the people thought the market had broken trend or was going to fall or not make a new high. What confuses people is that every once in a while, something, not the market, other, other things, other stocks, other gaps that, that I may look at or we may look at in the room, don't work out. And then people get confused. There isn't, there is nothing that works 100% of the time. There's always a reason, though, that something doesn't work. There's always a reason. There's always a reason that something doesn't work and fall through, and that's why it is so important to actually watch the best thing every day, or at least two things every day to get a good trade. It's important to qualify them and get everything down very, very specifically, because you will always have sometimes something doesn't work, even if it's a quality gap. But anyways, that never was setting up here in the market. I'm just using that as an example because I know it sometimes confuses people. People will see a gap fill, and then they will think that that works. It, it doesn't, and it's really not what is really transpiring in the chart, which, which again, I'll go over another time in another chart. But what people thought was going to happen in the market, which is not going to happen, is that they thought that the market was going to keep falling in here and, and, you know, and fill all this area, which, which it's not going to do. Uh, and it's just that's nothing to read in here for any weightiness of what's happening with the money. In October, October 31st, <clears throat> this was the first day that I started a swing trade letter. I was inspired to do that because I saw this gap in the market, and I made a call that is still in play for the market if you did the long. It was the first time that I realized, well, no, I kind of saw it back here in September, but then I knew with 100% conviction what the market was going to do in 2015. So two months before the end of the calendar year last year, I knew what the market was going to do this year. And it's, it's, it's here. I mean, it's playing out. And, and the interesting thing is people still aren't going to believe this. I could probably do 25 videos every day of my life, and people will still insist the market's extended and is going to come in this year and is going to turn and is going to fall and everything else, because this isn't going to be the end of it, meaning we're going to get over the high here whenever we do, and then the market's going to do something else, and then people will short it, because they're going to think it's extended. But we never had a monster green bar day in here, and it is going to happen, I don't know when, I don't know if that's going to happen in February. I do know we make a, we'll make a new high in February, I know February will be a bullish month, it is, it is a bullish month, it's been. But the thing is that gaps are the only proper way to read trends. And how do you know if a gap is good or not? The only way you know is if you do the 26-point rating system in the class. That's how you know if a gap is quality or not. So that's number one. Then you learn how to day trade in the gap class. If you want to learn how to read long-term trends, though, you have to do the trends class. But that doesn't tell you the quality of the gap. 
So you really need both classes actually together to determine long-term trends and quality of the gap on the day. The trends class will teach you long-term trends, but if you don't know how to rate the gap, you're going to be missing a piece of that class. It's going to tell you whether or not a gap is actually going to follow through or not. And so you really need both those classes in order to take long-term overnight trades. That's one of the reasons I'm able to read the market well here. The market was along today. I actually did not go along the market out of the game. I don't think there was any reason to do that. Uh, but you could have. And that's even another sign of the strength in the market, the fact that the market held so quickly. In fact, the time of the day the market held below, it wasn't the first five, 15 minutes of the day, but I don't remember the time. Let's just look here. I went on the market in the afternoon. I traded in the afternoon a bunch of times in the last few weeks, and I don't like doing that, but I did. Uh, the market set the low of the day at 9.43 within the first 15 minutes of the day. And you could have gone on the market right here. So I forgot the time here. It was 9.43. Actually, I just saw something here, too. Anyways, here was a long I did in the afternoon. Into the lunchtime period of the very tight stop, 20 cents to get the market to the target, and it never looked back. So it was a nice trade because of where I put the stop. And I'll go over this in detail in the room in the morning. Uh, but yeah, the market's at the low of the day in the first 15 minutes in a gap that gapped up in the sky and in and, and a market that people think is going to extend it and going to crash and it's not. And I did say this in a video the other day. There might be people out there saying the market's higher, but their analysts, not traders, a great many traders are thinking the market's going to come in. And I've been thinking that for a while and they were really convinced in the last few months, particularly January, if I was not. And I kept double, triple checking myself to see the information. I'm probably one of the only traders out there in the planet that saw what I saw on the market for what's happening right now, actually today, that the market's going to make a new high here. But also what I am seeing for the calendar year is so significant. Significant. I'm really going to resend that letter out. If you are not on my email list, you can email me to be put on the email list. For people that have been in the room that did read the letter, that are already swing trade law in the market, they're getting the best benefit out here of my calls being with me every day to get what I'm saying about what's happening in the market. I'm. This is serious. This is really serious. And you know, a lot of traders got hurt today, and they're not even still going to give up on it. Some are really hurt that they're going to have to give up on it, but some are not going to give up on it. And the market is not going to come in in any significant way to crash or fall or break trend at all this year in 2015, unless we have a world calamity, which I cannot foresee. But nothing is setting up that way here. Okay. Utter strength in the market, holding up in the sky today. Beautiful, beautiful long. I did go along the market in the afternoon. I did trade in the afternoon, and I'm all out. It's very late, and uh, I don't particularly like to trade in the afternoon, but I did today, and I went long. And there will be days where you will have to go long this year, even if you prefer to short, and I prefer to short. And the market is the most perfect thing that exists right now, the most perfect chart that exists right now in the market as far as bullish charts. It is the QQQs and the SPY. And the thing that I can see that, the way that I can see that is because I know how to read gaps. Many people think the market's confusing, challenging. They don't understand it. And I think the exact opposite. It's not on purpose. It's because it's true. Because every day I get up in the market and I say, oh, my Lanta. Every morning I get up and I say, oh, my Lanta when I see the market. And it's because it really is perfect. Perfect means perfect. Don't even have to think about it. Oh, my Lanta. Perfect. And the interesting thing is most, many people find the market challenging and confusing, and they're confused. They're utterly confused, and, and, and it's because they don't know what to look at. And people read trends based on pivot formations, and it doesn't work. I mean, it's just, there's, no, there's another thing that I could possibly say. It flat out doesn't work. That's not the right way to read a trend. How I knew the market would do this is because I read bullish gaps and bearish gaps, and I do it extremely well, and I do it based on my 26-point rating system. I did not rate the gap in the market today. You could have done that. And you could have aggressively gone long the morning. I didn't do that either. I look to do my bearish gaps first in the morning, but I will be looking at some bullish gaps this year. If you want to learn more information from me, sign up for the swing trade letter. Do the bullish gap class that I've just come out with, which is in March. Do the bearish gap class, which is the end of this month. You can learn from me. This will be a challenging year to trade the stock market if you don't know what to do. It's going to take people out that are day traders now that won't be able to sustain themselves because they're going to keep doing the same things and they're not going to work this year because if you don't know how to do what I know how to do in reference to gaps, you're going to lose. And if you're following me or learning from me, you're going to go through a learning curve till you learn it and erase this past stuff that you knew. But once you see how these things fall through and the things that I say work out, you'll understand. Not every trade works every day. 
Some days you start the day down, you have to fight back. Some days you start the day up and you're up huge and it's a fabulous day. Some days you start the day, you're up immediately in one minute or two minutes and five minutes and that's my dream life. It doesn't happen that way every day. This is a job. It is a job for me or anyone that's a full-time day trader. Sometimes at your job you have to work harder than you do other days and that's just a fact. So if you would like more information, email me at melissa at I will look specifically at the next targets for the QQQs tomorrow after we see how we close today and gap tomorrow morning, which I don't know where we gap tomorrow morning because I don't know where we're going to close today. But I'm out of the market long this afternoon. It essentially did it. And this is just a beautiful call that I've made. And I'm going to really resend out that email to everyone. And if you want to get on my email list, then email me at melissa at Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.